We are here now in the first setup of an auditorium with our friends from Colloc in Switzerland. What we have here is a bench where people can sit. We have, a, we have here a interactive screen. We have a flip chart that I can show you later. And we have a desk where people can do their presentations. On, in front of me, you have uh, two rows of chairs where we placed on top of the TR40. Basically, we will show you now that with this camera, you, can, you don't need to worry about anything. You just do your presentation. So you see, I'm wandering off to the desk. And if I want, I can be sitting here doing a presentation using a uh, document camera from Lumens. I can work. I can present. The people can see. They can follow behind on the screen. If I then stand up, the camera will automatically reframe me and will follow me. Now I am standing in front of the interactive whiteboard and the camera will follow me automatically. How does he do that? You can say, I can tell you now. It's a two lens camera. That means I don't need to wear any linear or I don't need any software running at the background. It's the bottom camera who will control the top camera, which is a 20 times optical zoom. So if I wander out and I go here to the blackboard, you see that the camera will do a preset. Because when I'm standing here in front of the blackboard, writing something, you know, I don't want the camera to be nervous. I just want it to follow me. So if you want to see the setup of the system, this is only for setup, I remind. This is not for um, running uh, during the camera. Follow me now and I will show it to you how you set up the camera with the web browser. So when you go to the web browser and you type in the IP address of the camera, you get this image here after you fill in your passport, password. Um, so on the first page, you can control the camera like a normal PTZ camera. And you can also change the exposure, white balance, focus. What is also a neat uh, feature is you can uh, hang the camera upside down. So you can then also mirror and flip the image if you want to. Now we go into the whole tracking setup. So as you can see here, we get two images. On the left, you get the image of the top camera and on the right, you get the image of the bottom camera as also a people counter. So if there are people running around in the image, you get the people detection. Uh, in here, I can start and stop the auto tracking control uh, and then also turn on the gesture control. That means uh, when you single uh, with your arms, you can, you can uh, get the camera to switch to you. Uh, in here, you get to se select the different modes of tracking everywhere. That means, as it says, everywhere the first person comes in, I start tracking. Stage is you set up a stage where you do the tracking in. And then partition is what we showed before. It's a combination of everywhere tracking plus uh, if I'm standing in front of an area or uh, the camera will do a preset. Then you have the settings for sensitivity and tracking speed. This really depends on the distance between you and the camera and also if you want to track a football player you want the tracking speed to be high if you're tracking a professor you can set the tracking speed uh, to middle or low for example um, in here we have some advanced features like uh, where do you want the head to be in the middle the uh, in middle low or high uh, in the shot or you can also set do you want to see a full body or only the uh, upper portion of the body uh, and in here you can set up the different partitions. If you want to know more about this camera or you want to know more about the Lumens products, feel free to check out our website and that is www.mylumens.com. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.